What's going on guys? A couple months ago, I made the switch from my 18 inch OEM BMW 400M wheels to the set of 19 inch Verde Access V99 wheels. So today I wanna to compare the two setups uh, and let you know if it's worth switching from your 18 inch setup to a 19 inch setup on your F30 BMW because both setups do have their pros and cons. For the first six months of ownership of this car, I was running a set of BMW 400M 18 by 18 ET 34 with 225 45 Pirelli P7 all season run flats. And the setup I have now is Verde Access V99 19 by 8.5 ET 30 with 245 35 Michelin Pilot Sport all season 4 tires, which are not run flats. Both my old setup and my current setup are squared not staggered which means uh, all four wheels and tires are the same size uh, if i would have been rear wheel drive instead of x drive i probably would have gone with a staggered setup not that you can't run staggered on x drive uh, you can you should watch this video by keys motorsports where he can help you pick a good uh, staggered setup for your x drive bmw if you're interested because picking the wrong one can damage your transfer case I'm gonna start by just talking about the looks because that's the main reason I spent uh, just over $2,000 switching from 18 inch to 19 inch wheels. Unless you're really into the stock BMW look, I think you're gonna agree with me that the Verity Axis wheels that I have on right now look better than my OEM 400M wheels. But in that case, why didn't I just get the 18 inch instead of 19 inch? And the answer is I think a larger diameter wheel with low profile tires just looks better on the F30 than the smaller wheels with a larger sidewall. I think uh, certain smaller cars would look awkward with 19s on them because the car's just too small for it, but the F30 is not one of those cars. Although I will admit, one thing I miss about my stock uh, wheel setup is it did have kind of a sleeper look and after I tuned it with uh, boot mode stage two, the car was easily doing zero to 60 in under four seconds since I have X drive. And uh, not that I would ever street race or anything, but let's just say there were some pretty surprised Dodge uh, Charger and Challenger scat packs who thought they were gonna pull on me off the line and I just left them sitting behind. So I do, I do kind of miss the sleeper look, but that's not a good enough reason for me to not want 19s on this car. Another thing I like is they aren't tucked into the fender anymore like they were with the original wheels. They kind of poke out and I don't have spacers or anything on them and it's just a much more aggressive look. Uh, although I will admit it does kick back a whole bunch of rocks and dirt which caused me to buy some uh, mud flaps from Tommy L Garage. But these mud flaps look pretty good on the car and they do a good job of uh, preventing the dirt and rocks from getting all over the place. And one more thing about uh, switching from 18s to 19s, the front end of my car actually sits a little bit higher now. And I know this because I used to scrape all the time getting in and out of my driveway and I kind of damaged the front uh, under part of my bumper and I don't scrape anymore in that same driveway, or at least for now until I decide to lower the car. All right, now that uh, I got all the looks related stuff out of the way, let's talk about the performance because this is where the 18 inch wheels are gonna do better than the 19 inch wheels. Um, they weigh less, uh, their offset's a little bit different. Obviously the diameter is smaller. Uh, you get extra sidewall, which is gonna give you extra cushion. And yeah, I could have gotten forged 19 inch wheels to deal with the weight problem. But since this isn't an M3, it's a 340i, I just didn't feel like putting all that money into forged wheel setup. But if I ever end up like hitting a really nasty pothole and destroying my suspension, and then uh, regretting not getting the forged wheels because of the extra strength, I will definitely let you guys know. But my 18 inch wheels accelerated faster, uh, got slightly better gas mileage, had a smoother ride. They were, in terms of performance, they were definitely better. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to explain why this is the difference. And I'm not like an expert in physics or anything. I'm just gonna go off my basic understanding of cars and whatever research I did. So uh, let me know if anything I say is incorrect. We can start by talking about the differences in sidewall between the two setups. You know, the 18s have a larger sidewall than the 19 inch wheels with low profile tires. This means a smoother ride and also better protection against uh, potholes because you have all that extra cushion. This is pretty straightforward. 
having uh, having the larger sidewall if you hit a pothole you're less likely to like damage the wheel the tire suspension although i have hit a couple potholes actually already with my 19s because uh the area i live in the roads just suck and i haven't damaged anything yet but that being said if you went ahead and bought like expensive tires like i did with the michelins you should probably just get the tire warranty to go with it just for the convenience if something were to happen they will replace your tires and the wheels also come with the warranty but that warranty mainly covers like manufacturer defects related to the structure and finish it will not cover pothole damage or any other damage that you cause to the wheel so if that bothers you maybe just consider buying like a used set of forged wheels see if you can find a good deal on those somewhere the next thing i want to talk about is the weight difference between the two wheels so my 18s weighed 26 pounds each my 19s weigh 31 and a half pounds each that means i gained around 22 pounds of unsprung weight the reason i say around 22 pounds is because i'm not exactly sure what the weight difference between the tires are but adding unsprung weight is not going to help with the performance of the car uh, it can affect your acceleration your cornering your braking now in my case the like cornering and braking actually feels a little bit better now and that's because i got better tires but the acceleration is a little bit worse now and i'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is because of the extra weight along with the increase in wheel diameter the loss in acceleration does kind of suck once you get used to being able to go a certain like speed or acceleration going backwards isn't fun but at the same time the car is still really fast and i'm planning on switching from stage 2 to stage 2 plus pretty soon probably doing a turbo upgrade eventually too so uh, the car is only going to get faster from here and now let's talk about the more aggressive offset and width of these new wheels so my new wheels are half an inch wider and the offset went from 34 to 30 as i showed you earlier the wheels kind of poke out more and uh, i've read that the extra leverage can cause extra bending and stress to drivetrain components uh, i don't i don't know if that's the situation or if that's happening in my case i don't know if my setup is aggressive enough for that but my car did feel a lot more shaky after installing the 19s this was especially noticeable uh, at higher speeds and more aggressive acceleration but to deal with the shakiness i ended up getting hub rings installed they were cheap and made a huge difference in the ride quality the car would shake when accelerating or decelerating and the faster you went the more noticeable it was but the hub rings completely resolved that problem and from what i understand this is because the wheel weight was sitting on the lugs rather than on the hub and the rings resolved that issue so at this point the car is very comfortable at all speeds on stock suspension and uh, i also do plan on getting the alignment done soon the last thing i want to talk about is uh, the difference between the overall diameter of the two setups so the 19s are obviously larger but they have a low profile tire with less sidewall the 18s are smaller but with a larger sidewall but the fact that after putting the 19s on my car sits a little bit higher as i mentioned earlier it uh, doesn't scrape anymore in the driveway that i used to scrape in all the time that lets me know that the car does sit higher now with the 19s and low profile tires so the overall diameter did go up a little bit so because of this my guess is the loss in acceleration that i'm experiencing has something to do with the increase in weight along with the increase in diameter but uh let me know if you have a better explanation than uh, what i came up with but to end this video if you only care about performance then you should probably stick to the 18 inch some like lightweight 18 inch setup if you care more about the looks and uh, you like the bigger wheels you don't mind a little bit of sacrifice in performance and mpg then uh, check out some of the 19 inch setups and if you have a little bit of extra money to spend maybe go check out some of the forged wheel setups i don't regret switching to the 19s since i love the way they look and the car is still really fast on a stage 2 tune on top of that i'll be installing a new fuel pump soon and making even more power and uh, mini f30s come from the factory with 19s so clearly even bmw knows it can handle the 19s without any issues i personally wouldn't do anything above 19s on an f30 though although i have seen some f30s running 20 inch setups for now i do still have my original 18 inch wheels so maybe in the future i can just buy better tires for them 
and use them just throw them on whenever i want to go like all out performance and then throw my 19s on when i just care about the looks and uh, maybe even i'll find a nice set of forged wheels used and sell both of the wheel setups that i have right now and just go with the forged ones but that's something i only want to do if i actually find a good deal on the forged ones i'm not really trying to pay like four thousand dollars or whatever they cost that's it for this video guys check out the instagram tag me in your wheel posts i want to see what kind of setups you're running on your f30 bmws if you found this video helpful give me a like comment subscribe and check out the video description for cool car related products